I was thinking as far as this uh, webinar, really briefly, we can just touch on some of the hadith uh, in this chapter. And even before that, if you could just comment on what your thoughts are on this hadith in particular, and then I'd love to hear from you why you chose this particular topic to cover as an online course. Yeah, so uh, there's a lot that to, to talk about with that hadith and honestly with every hadith that's in this collection. And um, needless to say, I mean, I, I don't know how we're going to use our time together today in particular, but uh, to reflect on, you know, what it is uh, that that makes Bukhari in particular, I mean, Imam Bukhari Rahimullah special, the way that he is special, but the way that he classifies things, uh, the genius of his classification, how he places every hadith where he places it. But with that particular hadith, I'll, I'll talk about one element of it, which is, you know, the attachment of the heart, um, even when there is no vehicle to carry out uh, what the heart longs for is still significant to our deen, right? So when you, when you get back down to the fundamentals and you, and you think about what it is that we want to polish, what we want to refine, the emphasis of this religion, the emphasis of the Prophet ﷺ on the heart is that the heart in its attachments has the ability to propel us to places that we would have never been able to ascend to uh, only by our devices. And it also has the ability to make us subhuman in our in in, in, in our degree uh, because of what it longs for. When it just longs for things that a wild beast would long for. And so, if your heart longs for Allah and it longs for the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, our vehicles could not uh, carry us to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We we don't have a time machine, right? Uh, to take us back to the time of the Prophet's license, but you're with the one that you love. Uh, likewise, you know, the, the the very famous compilation of Imam al-Rajab rahimahullah ta'ala, Mahajatu fi Sayyid al-Dulja, uh, the journey of, of a person, right? And the idea that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi mentioned, um, you know, this idea of, of, of travel throughout the night, right? And that large spans are covered um, in the night. Uh, so this idea that, you know, that, that the du'a, right, uh, of a sincere heart uh, is able to quickly travel through the heavens and reach its Lord. So a sincere heart, a longing sincere heart that is connected and attached to the right things can, uh, can cut across all sorts of physical dimensions with insufficient vehicles, but because the one who has allowed for its longing to travel and rewards it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who is not subjected to any limitations of time and place that's sort of the aspirational and then the other side of that is uh, uh a distracted hearts and so there's this this hadith of the prophet where he's talking about the distraction of the heart um and the attachment of the heart to things that are no longer even going to be attainable by that person this person should be thinking about what comes next but they're still yeah. attached to the the past and they're still attached to things that are not uh, attainable. So subhanAllah, it's like when you talk about being paralyzed by your past, here you're being paralyzed by your worldly, uh, your worldly attachments, spiritually paralyzed. You can't move forward because you're attached to, uh, to these worldly delusions. And so that's the idea that a heart that's attached to Allah, a heart that's attached to the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, is a heart that can travel large spans and that can travel forward and to the past as well. And it could be with the Prophet ﷺ in the past and with the Prophet ﷺ in the future as well. And a heart that is stuck in uh, both delusions of the past as well as delusions of the future will not make the most of its presence and will uh, likely lead to uh, you know, a, a, an unfortunate place in the future. So that's with the heart. And, and like you said, so this book, the book of heart softeners, Kitab al-Riqaq, what Imam Bukhari, rahimahullah ta'ala, does not, like if if you tell people, and actually that's when I, when I proposed this course to Al-Maghrib, right? And I said, I'm going to teach the book of heart softeners. I immediately explained, uh, you know, that by the way, it's not what you think it is. 